Welcome to Electron Online. In this example, we're trying to find the maximum amplitude, the amplitude of the oscillatory motion. We're given that there's a spring with a spring constant of 800 newtons per meter, a mass attached to the spring with a mass of 2 kilograms, at t equal to 0, the position of the block is equal to x equals 0, and it has a positive 5 meters per second velocity at that very moment. That's at t, t equals 0, and they're trying to find the amplitude of the oscillation. Now the amplitude of the oscillation is not a function of time, it's a function of the initial velocity, it's a function of position. So therefore I'm going to use the energy equation. We can say that energy initial is equal to energy final, and we can say that one half Ka squared, which is the initial energy put into the system, is equal to one half Kx squared plus one half mv squared. Since in this case, when time is equal to zero, at that very moment, we know that the velocity is equal to 5 meters per second and the position is equal to zero. So what we can do is we can say, okay, if we let this equal zero and all the energy then equate to the maximum kinetic energy, which is the case when it's at the equilibrium point, all of the energy is now in kinetic energy, we can then set those two parts equal to each other. So we can say that one half Ka squared is equal to one half mv squared. Again, the one halves cancel out. We solve this for a. We can then say that a squared is equal to m divided by k times v squared. Now taking the square root of both sides, we get a is equal to plus or minus the square root of m divided by k times the square root of this, which is v. The plus or minus means that a can be either positive, which is to the right of the equilibrium point, or negative, which is to the left of the equilibrium point. All we have to do now is plug in some numbers. We get a is equal to plus or minus the square root of m, which is 2, divided by k, which is 800, times v, which is 5 meters per second squared. Oh, 5 meters per second, not per second squared. That would be 1 divided by 400, which is 1 divided by 20. a is equal to plus or minus 1 divided by 20 times 5. 5 divided by 20 is 0. Point, let's see here, 5, 20, that's a quarter. Then A is equal to plus or minus 0. 0.25 meters, which means that A is equal to plus or minus 25 centimeters. Now, let's, put, let's check this to see if that makes sense. The kinetic energy would be equal to 1 half mv squared, which is equal to 1 half times the mass times 5 squared, that would be equal to 25 joules. The potential energy stored in the spring with an amplitude of 0.25 meters, potential energy is equal to 1 half Ka squared, which is equal to 1 half times 800, times A squared would be 0 0.25 squared. All right, let's see if we get the same result here. 0.25, we square that times 800 divided by 2 equals, and we get 25 joules. Just, just to make sure that we got the right answer, so yes indeed, the amplitude of this particular motion will be plus or minus 25 centimeters away from the equilibrium point. And that's how that's done.